what's the best MIMO antenna for marine applications? Okay, keep it simple, not keep it real very much. Now the thing is, um, of course, last year actually, I did a video, it's pretty much a year ago, on two by two MIMO. So what MIMO is, as always, is multiple input, multiple output. So you have more than one antenna that feeds into your modem. That's necessary for 4G to get a good connection, um, you can get away with one antenna and then there's a main and there would be a diversity. So it depends on the whole way that the um, signal processing and the design of the modem and how it interfaces with the, um, the network is designed. It gets more complicated and I am going to stand here admitting I don't have my complete understanding of what's, what's lying ahead yet. But we do know now for 5G and even for the more complicated 4G modems, the, for instance, the RUT X12, the RUT X14, that use four antennas, either two by two by times two, so or four by four, um, it gets a little bit messy. Because in 5G, the only thing that I do know right now is every port has equal function for a 5G modem. Now, what does that mean? It, it, it means that you can't put a, two antenna solution on a four port 5G modem anymore, at least not the X50. Um, and I think it would be the same for all the premium and the higher end ones that you really need to get four antennas out there and you need to get those four antennas out there having a signal of some sort. It's no longer a case of two out, two on the inside and you should be all right. That's what works in 4G. But in 5G, we need to be really careful that we do the right thing for the modem. Otherwise, the user yourself may have a like a, a kind of a, a negative experience and then that can lead to, lead to all sorts of issues. So what I have here today, this is kind of on our 5G kit, we are starting to use the um, pointing Omni 414 for marine applications. It's a single antenna. So there we go, there's a single antenna. Um, it's quite, it's fairly big. It has two sets of two cables coming out. So it has four SMA connectors. I just want to show you there, there's two, there's the other two. So in total, there's four SMA connectors coming out, which in a subsequent video, I will just connect that up to my RUT X50 I have here. That's the antenna. Now, this is a marine antenna, so it comes, of course, with a, an uh, a marine bracket adapter that you can use so that you can fix it to the um, typical marine brackets, or it does have a, a U-bolt and a right angle clamp setup. So the antenna is ready for quite a few setups and scenarios that you want to use. How this works is there are four antenna elements in there. So that means your four by four, when you put it outside on the boat, it's all going to be together. It's all going to be one place. So you have a connection, you can connect to the, um, to the base station that is either on shore or just far away. Now that's good. But the problem is, is it the best? And I think this is where the challenge is going to be. And that's purpose of this video. So long introduction to get to the point of saying, is one four by four antenna such as this one, or using two two by twos, which last year I would have said, use two single antennas, space them apart, and then you have that complete freedom of also losing a signal, you will then still have a signal on one or the other. Now think about a boat where the boat might be moving around. So as you move, this one is shadowed behind the cabin, but then this antenna is still showing something. Um, the same this way. So now this antenna can see you, but the one behind me is shadowed by the cabin or metal works in between. It doesn't matter how the boat looks, there's always going to be something connected. Of course, if you put this up high, that wouldn't be an issue. The way I stand doesn't matter. There's always going to be visibility towards the camera. Not quite that, that easy because now if the boat is moving or there might be storms and stuff, anything affects the signal to this antenna, you're gone because this antenna as one set of four antennas in there will be the same way affected by issues. So having two antennas, one here, one here, they won't face the same issue. So one antenna may, for some point in time, have an issue with reflections or obstructions. The other antenna is likely to be clean and okay. You can play a little bit with height, that helps with the reflections. You can make sure they're on both sides of the boat or just different areas. So you can really, play with your placement on any vessel to make sure with two Omni 402s or something similar that you can have that extra level of discrimination between the signal. With one antenna like this, it's nice and compact and I love this because it's just, there you go, this is an antenna that gives you the 4x4 into a modem. It's super simple, keep it simple. 
But keeping it real, you may want to look if you have the budget, if you have the effort, if you're willing to take that extra bit of effort, get two M Omni 4 or 2s spaced them apart. I mean, it's, it's, we're gonna, well, we have both options available on our website, so it's not like this is a, a, um, a, a difficult topic, it's just interesting, and physics is always going to be at play here. No matter what the technology is, physics will always dictate what we can do. With the Omni 414, gives you simplicity, one antenna, good one set. Still four cables running down, as you saw the four SMA connectors, so it's still gonna be a, quite, a, quite a significant chunk of cables coming down. Omni 402s just gives you that spatial um, separation and um, all sorts of um, other variables that you can play with in your specific vessel. But that's really it. It's kind of Omni 414 in a nutshell that we're using now for 5G. Probably gonna get more and more relevant as we move more and more into 5G. But the only big thing, as I mentioned earlier, that you cannot do is just one antenna to external and use the rest on the internal. That's not gonna work well. You will um, have significant degradation of your 5G connectivity. All right, that's about it for now. I hope this makes sense. Um, we're gonna spend more time. I, I guess, as you can imagine, because it's four by four, it takes more time and effort to set it up every time. So the videos may be a little bit more um, few in between because making an effort to set up a four by four is more than a two by two. It's way more than the one by one, which we've done for the cell phones before. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video. And um, yeah, keep, keep up, well, subscribe. Have a look on our website and if you have any questions, do let us know on our phone line or emails. Thank you. Bye-bye.